Hey everyone, Pixel Geek here, and we're starting a new series of quick tip tutorials. Some of you have asked, hey Nelson, can you make some videos that are like five minutes long? I don't have time to watch your live streams. And I totally understand. And yeah, so I had some requests for basic videos, and we're going to start making them now. Uh, so this first request was all about how do you center the things. How do you horizontally center elements like texts and images and buttons and whatnot? And uh, this video is all about that. So let's get to it. All right, so I have a fresh um, project. Let's go ahead and drag in a section. And in this section, I'll have an image. And let's use a picture of Nova. Yeah, sure. All right, so you might be thinking, all right, so there's this spacing thing and it says center element horizontally requires fixed width. Okay, if I click on this, nothing happened. Wait a minute, why? All right, so it says requires fixed width. Ah, okay, so I have to go to my width and I have to give it a fixed width of say 250. It's not working yet. Why? Well, it's because display inline block is automatically selected for all inline images all right and what this means is if you have multiple images added to your um added to your canvas if i go like this notice how they're all in the same line all right that means they're in line if i delete and set this to display block meaning it takes up its own line it takes up the whole row then it works because I have, if I take out the fixed width, then it's still going as far as it can based on its original Im uh, image size, but it's centering itself because it's going as big as it can, but it's display block, so it takes up the whole width, all right? So it's no longer in line. Uh, let's do another thing. I'm gonna delete this, and let's go ahead and let me push this away. There we go, so let's add a button. So buttons, if you notice, I've just added this button and it has a display of, again, inline block. So if I do display block, it takes up the full width of the row, right? And let's go ahead and center that. Oh wait, nothing happens because I don't have a fixed width. Let's give it a fixed width of 150. Awesome, now it's centered on the page. Except this text right here isn't centered. So that's where we use typography, align center. That's centering buttons, all right? So let's go ahead and delete that button and let's add in a heading and also let's add a paragraph, all right? So now we have two elements and this one is display block. This paragraph is also display block. So what we can do is if we want to just center the text, we can go to the section, the parent element, and just say align center. Cool. But then the paragraph goes all the way across. So how do we fix that? We can go to the paragraph and give it a fixed width of say 350. But the text is centered thanks to section four and align center on the text, but the paragraph isn't. So we have to do center horizontally. And there we go. Last thing, last thing. Let me delete that section and let's add another section. Um, section, let's move it down. And this one, I'm going to add another heading, another paragraph. And this section right here, I can use Flexbox. So I'm gonna set Flexbox, and I don't want the direction of each element to be horizontal. If you notice, the heading is here, and then horizontally, this one is, uh, the paragraph is there. No, I want them to stack vertically. So I'm gonna click on vertical, and there we go. Now they're stacking. And what I can do is align center, and also text center and there we go all right if i go to the paragraph i can also give that a fixed width of like 
350, but notice I didn't have to use the margin auto on both sides, this magical button. It's because this right here, this flex box, is handling that center for me. So there's multiple ways to center things, um, but hopefully this helps. Let me know what you think about this quick tutorial in the comments below, but thank you so much for watching. And as always, wait, let me change my camera. There we go. And as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.